For those who need it, spinal fusion surgery can improve quality of life and function. However, the procedure may alter the biomechanical balance between the spine and the pelvis, which may, in turn, lead to compensations that affect the hip by increasing joint forces and impingement between the acetabulum and the femur. Do these mechanical changes mean that spinal fusion surgery will lead to greater rates of hip osteoarthritis and hip joint replacement? To find out, researchers from UC Davis reviewed a database of 101,206 patients who went on to a spinal fusion. They analyzed 10 years of data to determine how many patients went on to have a total hip replacement and what the risk factors were. Their results showed that 2.77% of the spinal fusion patients required a primary hip replacement within 10 years. The rate of having a hip replacement went up with the number of fused levels, with a peak of 4.63% of patients who had more than seven spinal levels fused. The risk of having a hip replacement also went up with the number of fused levels, especially in women. Women with more than two fusion levels had a 35% increased relative risk compared to a 17% increased risk in men. In fact, the relative risk for a woman with more than seven fused spinal levels was increased by 119%. When spinal fusion surgery can greatly benefit patients, women and those individuals with multiple levels fused should be counseled regarding the risk of hip osteoarthritis and subsequent hip replacement.